Welcome back everybody to yet another bow review. And today it is a very special one, a lightweight but big box from Poland. You can guess, yes. It's the Seljuk Lung by Lukas Navalny. We sent him one. And I am looking forward to test this bow. Because I already like the short one. And this one draws now nice and easy 32 inches. So Let's tweak it, and as you always like unboxings, I can unbox it for you. So, Hula Drulla. I never forget. Huh? One more side. We are done. Packed always nicely, as usual. As we know, it's all the light. Look at this, what you get here. So let's keep it away. As usual, you get your sleeve. Then always, when you have birch bark on your bow from Lukas, you always get a little uh, super glue. Just in case the birch bark comes, birch, birch bark, I don't know how you pronounce it, comes loose. And then you get your Camelot Archery Warranty Certificate, 8323. It's a sale joke in 39 pounds at 28, has a mixture of 32. Oh, many bows. So a super glue card and even an extra, extra, you know, uh, string pad. Cool. So three extra pieces, very nice. And I get some information here. It's a Seljuk Long, 39 pounds at 28, 48 pounds at 32, has a max draw length of 32. Length overall is 56 inches, max draw length under 38 on 28 max draw. So if you're under 38 pounds, you can have it in a draw length of 33, over 38 pounds that max draw is 32. One pound less would be nice, then I could draw 33. <laughs> and the max draw weight at full draw is 65 pounds. Minimum arrow mass is 9 gram per pound. And the Seljuk short is uh, 2 inches short and draws only 30, 31 inches. And I get even a nice thing with it. Very good. Ho ho! Now, the bow. Oui. String is already on it. We don't need anymore. So look at this. Here you have the Seljuk long, two inches longer than the former version. <laughs> Snowing again. We have some small string silences on it. Wow, this bow is pretty. Look at this handle. Looks good. You have two inlays here in white. A nice whipping. Even oh, look, this is concave shape here. Convex or concave? Concave, I think, shape. And these long ears are only moly. That's a pretty bow. And these nice string pads in here, reinforcement. Really nice. So, but first, first things first, all right? Yes, yes, yes. Calm down, I mean, calm down. <sighs> From Lukas Navalny, the Seljuk Long. Design is you know, Seljuk, it's uh, like a Turkish but with long ears and curves. It's his monolith build. It's what did we say? Length is 56 inches. Uh, this one is 39 pounds at 28, available up to 55 pounds, but the max draw weight not more than 65 on full draw. Max draw 32 or 33 when you have less than 38 pounds at 28 and recommended arrow weight is 9 but they said you could even go for 8 but I should just test it out. And then what you get is the bow. It's 630 euros and then with the horn belly plus 60 with the birch bark plus 60 you have a grip stabilization for 60 euros and you have the stingray arrow passes. They are 25 and you get one year of warranty. This is all I have here. And this is just kind of like the handle part is from the Turkish bow and the, the, the sear part is from his Mongolian bow. So the early Mongolian UN style bows. And this is just like the mix of these two bows. And this one is 
color-wise and design-wise and everything just beautiful. See, Sunday, nobody cuts his wood today. That's nice, so it's silent. I like it. Just the neighbors up there are a bit loud today, but hey. Yep, 50, 56 inches. Why do I even measure? Huh? And Lukas does something. It's just, this is 56. Nice. Arrow pass we have, obviously. 25. 24. Good. A long one on the bottom. There is nothing no, that you have to take care of when you string or whatever. You just make sure that you don't twist the bow too much. No the through method. Oh, this bow draws already and stringing. Nice. Holy moly. I like this bow. Look at this. Eight. Almost eight and a half, huh? eight and a quarter. Brace head. Nice, uh, look at this bow. <sighs> moment, uh, okay, no, no, no. The moment of truth has to come later. First you wanna know, because you wanna know. And you're right, you have the right to know. 460, 490, 485, okay. Fine by me. Yes, it's insane. <laughs> there, no, not, so there is really almost nothing. And then it's first a little hard. And back there, all of a sudden, nothing. It's, it's like the draw curve is like this. Holy cow. What shall we do? Shoot? Yes. In this direction. Now they come with their horse. Seriously. You hear that? Nice, and in this direction, there is, <laughs> this is stiff. So this one is stiff and sturdy, so wow, just insane. 400 grain, it's just what he recommended, and we are at nine grain per pound. So, shoot. Grip feels just amazing. <sighs> I need to show you. You see that center shot? How often does this happen with a new bow? Huh? Not so often. And the next horse. Ay, ay, ay. Holy moly. Lightweight ones. Mm, oh, yeah, a bit in the hand, but holy cow! So the heavier ones, a little better, maybe because they are a little stiffer. They're 500 spine. What a bow! What a bow! The draw of this bow is just look out of the box. Easy, nice, 32 inches. A bit to the left. Holy cow. And it's fast. Mm. Looking forward to run 3D parkour with this one. Look at this. And the bow gives you feedback. So let's first a little to the left. Compensate for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bit to the left still, but oh, and there's nothing. There's nothing. You feel a little moment in the handle, but dunk. That's nothing. This bow is for sure already in my top three. This is an amazing bow. This is just wow. It 
even if you draw only 31 inches, this bow just, wow. Ooh, almost overthrew the bone. Oh, a bit to the left. So the 600 spine are a little too weak. 500 spine is just fine. Now I have an idea. I have these little longer arrows. <laughs> Don't want to destroy this pretty bow, but they are 33 and a little. <laughs> Let's see what it does. Yep, works too. So I would get it in maximum 38 pounds. And you can draw 32 inches, or if 32 is enough, get the stronger one. <laughs> so, that's 33. Doesn't stack at all at 32. Let's give it a bit more distance. So, the destroyers are just fine. Ah, look at this. Yep, now they go a little to the right. Awesome. A little more lightweight and a bit. 600 spines, not maybe working. At least how I shoot. But still, you can shoot a nice group with it. Oh, set it and ruin the shot. This bow, guys, if you never had a bow from Lukas, 400 grain, 32 inches. Grain two hundred was a bit shot hundred oh, ninety five hundred ninety eight two hundred foot per second. I'm sure that's not the max speed. I guess you can get more out of it, but you know. So look at the curves. I hold the ball upright. 32 inches. Holy cow. Nine grain, 200 foot per second. And precise where you point. Oh, there it goes. 600 grain, uh, 600 spine a little too soft. But you do a little torque in your hand and this bow is made for it. Ah, the last one, the last one. arrow hates me. Nice group with both arrows. Holy, holy. I mean, look at this beauty. You have this extremely long sears here in this dark wood, and you have a black layer and glass, and his, his horn kind and pitch bark. A nice trim pad here. Reinforced here, nicely made. I like the whipping here, very solid and very nicely made. And the hand looks just gorgeous and beautiful. And the seam is really nice made. The two inlays here in. Reskin, nice, such so a beautiful bow. You don't need more. Let's just look at the transitions here. They are relatively short, but it just works. This bow just works. And maybe you see that slightly concave belly. It's just beautiful. Up there it fades out. And then it gets a little, look at that, look at the belly. Here it's thick, here it gets thin, and then it gets a little thicker to the string pad, and then it fades in the, 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 the end. Interesting. So this is, wow. And the 50 pounds, you don't feel. This is just such a nice draw. Wow. This is, look at this. 
different arrow spines and weights. This <laughs> is nice. I love this bow. I loved already the first sail took the short one, but of course 32 inches is just my length. Look at this. See how easy you get there. This bow gives you feedback, you know exactly. Look at you. Just well. I mean, what can I say? I run out of words. This bow is just awesome. Of course, it's expensive, but you know. I had in my last course in Vienna, I had someone who bought uh, as his first Asiatic bow a Tatar from uh, Lukas Navalny in 28 pounds. I said, Holy cow, but. And he spent almost 1000 euros for it. And he is extremely happy and even a 28 pound Navalny bow shoots just incredible. I have to say that and this bow is that's the peak of everything bow building could possibly offer in this monolith way of doing it. It's just beautiful. Draws this is just this jaw is just unbelievable. <laughs> I need to stop now. <sighs> Bow, string, sleeve, glue, uh, description, an extra uh, string pad, 10 packaging. Handling of this bow, this is due to the, the, the torque resistance of this bow. This is, you, you would not expect because of this long, but you have this long, a small string bridge there, so it keeps it a little there, but it's stiff. It's so easy to string, even step through, and then afterwards this bow is just straight, so these, you can't do, you can't go wrong with this bow. So even normal step through method, easy peasy. And, and set up and you know you don't have to worry and you just start shooting and from the first shot this bow is working so you don't need to whatever warm up the limbs or nothing it's just only make sure when you have it in a cold environment to bring it out of the warm car let it acclimate a little bit this but you do it with, do it with all bows holy moly so handling 10 the build Jesus. do I have to say something it's an avani bow of course 10 it's flawless, it's really, you know, I, I am getting nitpicky and I want to find something, but I can't find anything on this bow. This bow is just perfection. There's nothing. You could say, look at this or whatever, or the knock grooves are not smooth, they are smooth, the string bridge is nice, the string is centered, this, everything is just ten. And the draw experience, do I have to mention it again? Okay, I mention it again, look at this. 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. <laughs> it's still no stacking. And the, the draw curve, you. 10. And shooting experience, my first shot directly center shot. So you shoot the same kind of arrows I would go with in this poundage with 500 spine. Uh, my tips are, I think, 100 grain or something. But, you know, you, you will figure it out and depends how you shoot. But then even if you do a little torque, you know, a little bit of torque, even the 600 spine fly. So you can make almost every arrow work. Only make sure that it's not less than 9 grain per pound or let's say 8 grain. But works. So even the, the 380 grain arrows Nothing. You feel it a little in the hand, but of course you have a string bridge, so you have a little kick at the end. Not the Namanju kick, but you, you feel it. It's okay, it's there, but there is no vibration. So this typical hand chuck is not there, and you hear it already, how this sounds. There's nothing like a guitar. Look at this. Boom, boom, and then it's done. This is shooting experience 10. Gives you a total of 60. And price-wise, 630 euros, yes, fully. And get it customized, and if you like it, I mean, I would take the birch bark. 
I would take the handle reinforcements, I would take these uh, arrow passes here, and I would take, of course, the, the fake horn belly, because this just makes this bow look outstanding. I mean, when you already invest 600 euros, then invest 800. So if you're on a budget, you don't look for this bow, but if you have the money, just pimp this bow uh, to the max and five. For me, five, because in this price range, which bow performs like this in this price range? Eh? This is just, wow, just hand. I still don't like the Turkish handle that much, but with this bow it just works. So this handle is, this, it, it fits, look, I don't even have to look. And it fits, it sits directly there. So your hand knows even where to go. And this could be a tiny bit bigger, but you have this, like, you, you have the control here. Awesome, this is an awesome bow. And it's a shooter you don't want to put out of your hand, and even 50 pounds. Problem. This is incredible. So, don't forget if you need some whips, Indian whips and props, they make nice, even now short ones, and they are just. But I may do a video soon. Now the weather is nicer, so I can go outside and do a video about the whips. This bow, just insane. So, Lukas, really thank you for sending this bow to me. I really appreciate that you. I really wanted to buy already the short one because it was, I have, who oh got this? was a Patreon bow, I guess, yeah. And I really loved it. But the long one is just, it's just, it's just my bow. <laughs> and that's all I have for you today. Thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.